Hi, it's been a great week on social media, on Twitter especially. You're back on Shit Malaysian Tweet with me, Club Kid. At number 10, we have uh, at Peter Kuhn. So many reshuffling, transfer, promotions, upgrade, appointment, etc. But Tan King Liang is still Tan King Liang playing Twitter. For some reason, you know, that's not really stupid, but it's epically accurate. We have no idea what Tan King Liang does apart from spend all his time online and make a fool out of himself. At number 9, uh, we have uh, Neo Hanif and uh, he goes tak payahlah nak viralkan pasal DNA susu lembu tu. DNA arwah Tun Razak dulu pun macam tak diwarisi anak dia je. Hot on trails of uh, the Sustaza who said that, you know, drinking cow's milk will actually transfer the DNA to your babies, thus making your baby a raging moron because cows are angry or something like that. At number 8, uh, we have Murni Hidayah and this was quite uh, recent like um, just yesterday or day before yes yesterday, yeah. Hampir 10 orang polis datang cabut stiker tangkap Najib pada kereta aku. Arahan pihak atasan katanya. Who? Uh, I guess it shows how viral everything on Twitter can be because the hashtag tangkap Najib has of course gone trending over the past week and now people are sticking the hashtag all over t-shirts and car stickers and all that. Apparently, it's scaring a lot of people. Um, the next one we have is from Sumisha Naidu. She is a reporter with Channel News Asia and she was covering an event and she tweeted this according to our Prime Minister who said, I urge Singaporeans not to judge Malaysia by what you may read on social media or by politically motivated statements. Now, on behalf of Twitter Jaya, um, all we have to say is, Dear Singaporeans, happy birthday and don't judge Malaysia by our Prime Minister or our Ministers and what they say on Twitter. Next up, we have uh, Nazrul Nazir and uh, this uh, tweet is in regards to what Najib's son actually said. And uh, Nazrul had this to say, Dear Nazif Najib, Bukan kau seorang aja ada bapa. Sebab bapa kau lah, bapa-bapa lain kat Malaysia ni semua susah. Sincerely me. Hashtag tangkap Najib. Self-explanatory. Coming up next, uh, we have uh, Pisau Karat and uh, his tweet goes, I doubt you can understand the magnitude of the stupidity in your statement. He tweeted a news article that Fatul Bahari was supposedly uh, quoted as saying that the 2.6 billion that allegedly went to our Prime Minister's account was to save Islam and possibly to stop the IS, the Islamic State. Whatever, Dr. Fatul. Sim Tong had our next tweet. His tweet went, I knew the PM was innocent. As soon as he suspended the H, blocked the Sarah report, replaced the AG and DPM, and sabotaged the PAC and MECC. Again, makes sense. That was a lot of anger, def definitely over the past week, again. But uh, Mamu, Mamu V's had this to say, A better ruler than Najib, vote for the actual ruler. And it was indeed a picture of a ruler. Up next, uh, of course we had also a lot of photos that went viral on Twitter. Uh, and it was um, of banners all over Johor with uh, a lot of um, anti-Prime Minister sentiment. Type Z or Zylif D2. Orang Johor ni dapat letak banner tolak Najib pun bising. Orang Kelantan dah 24 tahun tolak UMNO. Relax je. Again, makes sense. And this is actually our final tweet and our number one. Uh, this came about as a result of KJ saying that supporting Liverpool was kind of like supporting PAS. And then Faisal Tahir threw a ruckus and said, then supporting Manchester United must be supporting Barisan National. So Alif Ozawa tweeted, Faisal dan KJ adalah contoh terbaik bagi pepatah Melayu, kulit sama hitam, hati lain-lain. Okay, that's our number one. I'll see you next week. Thank you.